Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week 11 is here. Week 10 is in the books, and I had an exceptional week. I went 2 1 and 1 in my video picks, 2 and 1 in my Twitter picks. My leans, I went 8 1 and 1. So it gives you the grand total of 12 3 and 2. I'll probably never hit those heights again. You almost have to get a almost perfect week. That's with unders and overs and ATS picks. But man, I was rocking it. And I'm so excited. I think I'm going to do three comments of the week. In the first comment of the week, we got CKFPV. To help make your videos shorter, say what picks you got right and not all the picks you got wrong. Yeah, I get it. You're saying I get more picks wrong. Well, not this week, buddy. I could drink the winning victory of 12, 3, and 2. So it'll be a long video for you, buddy. Next, we got Trayvon Parnell. I see 1 and 3 in your picks. I'm taking Houston, Green Bay, Buccaneers, and Philadelphia. I see 1 and 3 in your ATS picks as well. So, hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Calvin Johnson. Hey, did you play for the Lions, Megatron? No, it can't be. That's a Calvin Johnson. <laughs> Anyways. You like Minnesota every week. You know, I like winning and money every week. That's right. Minnesota is 3-0 and in the last three weeks. Beat out three divisional rivals. That's Green Bay, Detroit, and Chicago on Monday night. It covered ATS all three weeks. So, what's not to like? I'll take Minnesota when they're that good. This week, maybe not so much. Don't forget to visit my sponsors. That's uh, Custom Jerseys Pro, links in below. Christmas is almost here. I'm telling you, they're pretty sweet. Uh, Bovada over there on Twitter. If you want a nice sports book, you know, use me as a reference. My link is in Twitter. And plus my under and overs, again, free. No extra video. Just a nice little pick and what I like. And my YouTube video prognosticators on Facebook. Link is below and all the progs links as well. Check them out. Let's get on with the picks. And my fourth pick of the week, my upset pick of the week, we got the Green Bay Packers traveling to the Indianapolis Colts. The Green Bay Packers are a three-point road dog. And uh, what's not like to like here? Uh, Green Bay's head of the division. They're doing exceptionally well. They're getting three points. Uh, they're 7-2 this week. Uh, they won the last two games against San Francisco and Jacksonville. I know not the greatest. Uh, they are 6-3 ATS in the last nine. 13-3 straight up in the last 16. 4-1 ATS last five road games. And 4-1 straight up on the road. Pretty easy. Love the numbers. Now, Indianapolis, they are a good home team. You know, they have a, they have a good defense. But you don't know what you're going to get with Phil Rivers. You know, it's a flip of a coin. You know, if you're getting three points, you, you might even want to put some money on this on the money line. Uh, Indianapolis winning their division. They had beat uh, Tennessee last week. They are 6-3. Six 6-2 and three. Six and two straight up in the last eight. 6-0 and oh against the NFC North. So they play, uh, you know, they play you know, Minnesota and Detroit. Chicago, well. And 3-1 uh, and one at home. So, yeah. But give me Green Bay with three points. My third pick of the week, we got Kansas City Chiefs traveling to the Las Vegas Raiders. Kansas City Chiefs are a seven point road favorite. Uh, Kansas City off a bye, eight and one, won their last four games. Buffalo, Denver, Jets, and Carolina. They are 15 and three ATS wise in the last 18 games. They are 17 and one straight up in the last 18 games and six and zero oh straight up on the road. And I know Kansas City lost the Las Vegas Raiders earlier in the year, 40 to 32. Nice big high scoring game. They tried to keep the ball out of Mahomes' hands and try to score every single down. Uh, can they do it this time? The, the Raiders, not so well at home there. Six and three overall for the year. Won their last three against Cleveland, the Chargers, and Denver. A couple bad teams. Cleveland's up, not too bad. Uh, Vegas Raiders, four and one ATS in the last five. Uh, four and one straight up in the last five, uh, but they are two and five ATS at home this year. We're giving Kansas City minus seven with that great ATS record. By number two pick of the week, we got the LA Rams traveling to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are a three point home favorite. 
Uh, Rams, like, this is a great game. Rams 6-3. and three. Uh, They won their last game uh, against Seattle. They're 6-1 and one ATS in the last seven versus Tampa Bay historically. But they're only 2-5 and five straight up in the last seven road games. Not doing well on the road. Tampa Bay, like, they're 7-3 and three and they did win their last game against Carolina. 4-1 uh, and one straight up in the last five games and 3-1 and one at home. So yeah, Tampa Bay, as long as they're not playing New Orleans, they're doing pretty well. So give me Tampa Bay, minus three. And my number one pick of the week, we got the Miami Dolphins traveling to the Denver Broncos. The Miami Dolphins are a three-point road favorite. So yeah, what can I say? Miami's a hot team, won their last five games. They're six and three this season. Uh, five and oh, ATS in the last five. Uh, eight and one ATS in the last nine games versus Denver historically. Uh, four and one ATS in the last five games on the road. Uh, Denver struggling this year. Three and six lost their last two against Atlanta and the and the Vegas Raiders. Uh, they are 0 and five ATS in the last five games. Seems like an easy pick. I know a lot of people say it's a trap game. I'm not seeing it. It's only three points. So give me Miami minus three. Well, that's it. Those are my favorite picks for the week. Uh, let's dive into what else is going on. We got the, for the buys, we got Buffalo, San Francisco, Chicago, and the Giants. Uh, my three-team teaser, I'm taking Green Bay plus 10, Kansas City at a pick em, and then Houston plus 10. That's my three-team teaser. I didn't get it last week. Baltimore killed me on so many different parlays. Not even funny. All they did that to win is to win the game. Uh, outright, but they couldn't even do that. Uh, did uh, miserable. More on that later. Uh, as my survival pool, I'm still in it. Uh, I am taking the Chargers this week. Um, if you're a little squeamish for picking the Chargers, you can go with Pittsburgh. But like I said, I I had both. Uh, you know, uh, two last week I picked Cleveland and Green Bay. Got them both. Either way, uh, but I'm going with the Chargers as a team that you know I most likely won't pick for out the rest of the year. And Pittsburgh, I might save till later. All right, let's dive into it. The Thursday night game. We got Arizona uh, trap extra point. That's one thing I might want to mention. I had uh, two and a half on one ticket and three on another. It would have pushed one and, and lost on the other. They would have kicked the extra point. So thank goodness I got that cast those Buffalo tickets in. Uh, and Seattle, you know, they're on a two-game losing streak. Arizona, 6-3 and three with uh, one win against Buffalo at Hail Mary. 4-1 uh, straight up in the last six. 5-1 ATS in the last six. 5-0 and oh ATS on the road in Seattle in the last five years. So, you know, historically they do well in Seattle. Uh, Seattle's struggling. 6-3. Uh, and three, uh, Lost their last two Buffalo and the Rams. Uh, and 1-4 and four ATS in the last five. Seattle... You know, do up, do down. I'm taking Seattle. I'm taking the home team. Uh, just because they need to win and they need to stay in it. So, yeah, give me Seattle for the Thursday night game. Next, we got Pittsburgh traveling to Jacksonville. Pittsburgh Steelers uh, play down to that competition. Here they are, a 10-point uh, road favorite against Jacksonville. Jacksonville covered. Last week, I had Jacksonville uh, going into Green Bay and covering. So, you know, why not? You know, stay at home and cover against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh would probably relax like they did against Dallas um, and other teams. Uh, so Pittsburghs are nine and zero. Oh, they won their last nine games, obviously six and one ATS in their last seven. Nine and zero oh straight up in their last nine. Yeah, uh, one and eight is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Two and five ATS in the last seven. Uh, oh and eight uh, straight up in their last eight. So, but Jacksonville home dog. Keep it close, so yeah, give me Jacksonville again, 10 points. Next, we got my beloved Detroit Lions traveling to Carolina Panthers, where Detroit Lions are getting three points on the road. Again, another do up, do down, you could say. Um, Detroit won in, at home against Washington, and Carolina lost their last five games against Chicago, New Orleans, Atlanta, Kansas City, and Tampa Bay. Um, I hate getting three points to a team that's lost five in a row. Um, you know, giving up three points, but it, do up, do down. Detroit six and 14 ATS in the last 20. They don't like the cover, uh, and four and 14 straight up in the last 18 overall, winning up right. So yeah, Carolina, and their that numbers don't look too great either. They're 0 and five straight up in the last five, five and one straight up in the last five uh, uh, at home versus Detroit historically. So. 
Carolina historically looks like they're going to win this game, as they always do. Uh, Detroit always struggles in Carolina. Um, three points. It, it might hit right on the mark like it did last week. So, But give me Carolina minus the three points. Next, we got the New England Patriots traveling to the Houston Texans. New England Patriots are a three-point road favorite. Man, uh, I, that New England game, I mean, it was fun to watch. A lot of rain, uh, and that Baltimore killed me that uh, Sunday night game. Uh, but New England won basically because they pulled out a bunch of trick plays. Uh, Baltimore made a, lots of mistakes, you know, lots of drops, lots of fumbles, interceptions. Uh, they just played ugly, you know, and, and New England took advantage of it, which they should, you know. Um, New England's uh, four and uh, five, uh, won their last two against the Jets, and then, of course, that that uh, slot ball uh, with the um, the Ravens. Uh, New England's two and four uh, ATS-wise in the last six. Two and four straight up as well. But Houston, you know, here they are, you know, do up, do down. Houston lost. New England won. Houston's two and seven. Uh, they, they lost to Cleveland. Uh, two and eight ATS in the last ten and two and eight straight up. So, yeah, I, I'm taking the home team. I'm taking the points. So it'll give me Houston plus three. Uh, next, we got the Tennessee Titans traveling to the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Tennessee Titans, I lost to the Indianapolis Colts on Thursday night last week. They got a long week. They're 6-1, and one, tied for uh, first place with Indianapolis as well, uh, but not tied with the tiebreaker. Um, they can afford a loss as they can easily catch up to Indianapolis if they lost, but Indianapolis is playing Green Bay. It's going to be a tough win. Tennessee is 3-7 and seven ATS in the last 10, so they don't like to cover that well, uh, and 1-4 and four ATS in the last 5 on the road. Not good at all either. Baltimore, uh, they got uh, killed with mistakes against uh, the Patriots and, and lost a game they should have won. Now they're uh, several games uh, behind Pittsburgh and tied with Cleveland for second place. So, yeah, Baltimore, uh, they are three games out. They're 13 and 6 ATS in the last 20 games and 16 and 4 straight up in the last 20 games. So, yeah, I think Baltimore is just going to take a pounding to Tennessee at home. So give me Baltimore minus six. Next, we got the Philadelphia Eagles traveling to the Cleveland Browns. The Philadelphia Eagles are three, five, and one, and somehow I'm on top of the NFC least division. Uh, they are three and seven ATS in the last ten, five and zero oh straight up in the last five versus Cleveland. Uh, so they play Cleveland well. Um, Cleveland, you know, trying to keep up with Pittsburgh. They're in a close division, tied with uh, the Ravens. They are six and three and won their last one game against Houston. One and four ATS in the last five. Six and two straight up in the last eight. So they're winning games and they're keeping it close. Um, this game's uh, three and a half points. Maybe if you get three, hopefully uh, on game day. Give me Cleveland minus that three and a half points. Is Philadelphia is also on back-to-back -back road games. So yep, Cleveland minus three and a half points. Next we got the Atlanta Falcons traveling to the New Orleans Saints. Uh, New Orleans Saints will be probably playing without Drew Brees as he uh, cracked several ribs on a you know bad uh, you know slam in the quarterback. Oh my goodness! Uh, Atlanta's uh, three and six. They won their last two games against Carolina and Denver. They're seven and one ATS on the road in the last eight games, so they play well on the road. Um, they're three and six straight up in the last nine. One and four ATS in the last five. That's due to you know they play poorly at home. Uh, Drew Brees. Uh, Probably Jameis Winston starting. They haven't announced it yet, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, they're 4-1 in the last uh, five games in, in, the, in their division. But uh, like I said, no Drew Brees. Just uh, Jameis Winston, you know, bring some uh, crab legs and, uh, yeah, <laughs> enjoy the game. Uh, I'm taking Atlanta. Uh, they're coming off a bye. They're well-rested. Uh, uh, divisional game, I believe. I don't have it written down, but I believe the Falcons won. Uh, against the Saints last year in New Orleans. So, yeah, give me Atlanta, give me those four and a half points. Next, we got the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to the Washington Redskins. Cincinnati, two, six, and one. Um, they lost their last game against Pittsburgh badly. Six and two ATS in the last eight, so they keep it close, winning ATS wise, but they're only 0 oh, and 16 and one in their last 17 road games. Man, that's ugly. Uh, Washington Redskins, you know, they play well at home. Alex Smith, uh, you know, he wants a win. Um, I see Washington 2 and 7. Uh, they lost their last two games against the Giants and Detroit. Uh, lost by only three points. 
Uh, here they are, uh, Washington 3, 8, and 1 ATS in the last two, 2 and 3 at home. Uh, so, you know, you got a good chance of them winning at home. Cincinnati, a bad road game. So, yeah, give me Washington at home to win the game as Cincinnati Bengals are on back to back road game. So, yeah, Washington minus one and a half or just on the money line. Next, we got the New York Jets traveling to the Los Angeles Chargers. The New York Jets, uh, long travel, uh, getting nine points. Uh, they're 0 and 9 last four games, 0 and 9 record. Uh, 2 and 7, ATS in the last nine games. Chargers, man, they just, you know, they just can't win. They're 2 and 7, lost their last three games against Denver, Vegas, and Miami. One and seven straight up in the last eight. One and five straight up at home. Two and four straight up in the last six. Uh, Jets, yeah, they can now win this time. They're coming off a bye. Uh, they're getting nine points. I know it's a long travel to all the way from New York all the way up to California. But yeah, why not? Give me the Jets plus nine. Don't bet a lot. <laughs> Next, we got the Dallas Cowboys traveling to the Minnesota Vikings. Dallas Cowboys getting nine points, nine and a half points. You probably get ten points on on game day. Uh, they have bad defense. They're a backup uh, quarterback. Andy Dalton has been practicing, so he most likely will play. Uh, they're two seven uh, uh, record. Lost their last four against Arizona, Washington, Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh. Um, I expect a running game on this game. Minnesota, you know, on a short week, they play Monday night. They are four and five, won their last three games. Green Bay, Detroit, and Chicago. They beat Green Bay by six, Detroit by 14, and Chicago by six. Uh, they're all divisional games. They know each other well. Here they're playing Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Andy Dalton's coming back. I think, you know, maybe they keep it close. It's both be a run game. Uh, yeah, and uh, Minnesota coming off the high off a win. Uh, Dallas coming off a bye. So give me Dallas plus nine and a half. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm on fire the last few weeks, doing great, getting my averages back up at the first part of the season. And, and you know what? I figured out why I was doing so bad the first half of the season. You know, I was wearing blank t-shirts. I wore a printed t-shirt last week, printed t-shirt this week. We got it. That's the reason. Stay tuned. See you next week. Peace. Want to look like a pro? CustomJerseysPro.com has what you need for any sport. Create your custom jersey by color or style from thousands of designs made for you or your team. Use PICS as a discount code at checkout and save an extra 8% on your next order. Remember, CustomJerseysPro.com and be the next professional in your neighborhood. You enjoy placing a few bucks on your favorite team? Maybe try your hand at cards or on the slot. Use me as a reference and head over to my Twitter and click on the link below and receive a new member bonus and help support this channel. Bovada, just better. My number two pick of the week with the...